What is up my guys, it's your boy Galixi back here with another video and today man we are talking about the best medium build in the finals. Let's get into it. So we're going to start off with a little bit of gameplay just to show you a little bit of what this medium class can do and then we'll hop into the actual build itself and break it down part by part. And then I'll show you guys some more gameplay and kind of show you how to use each ability and equipment and vice versa. So I'll just show you how to use kind of everything and different strategies. Uh, but first, let's hop into the build. So before we even start looking at the class, first you want to go to your settings uh, by hitting start. And then you're going to want to go to the controller. And you're going to want to change your sensitivity, especially your vertical sensitivity. I like mine kind of slow, so I'm kind of lame on that part. But... Um, I have mine at 160 and 160 and then you're going to want to max out your field of view. You want to go to vis uh, video and then go to 100 on the field of view. It will make a huge difference in allowing you to see uh, players and see them quicker. So as we hop into this class, the very first thing that uh, you're going to want to equip is the F car. In my personal opinion, I think it is the best gun in the medium class. Now. I've also seen a lot of people doing really good with both the model 1887 and the uh, R.357. Uh, wow, couldn't get that out. Um, but for me, I think the absolute best, best, best of the best cash it um, or quick cash is the gas mine with the jump pad and the defibrillators. Now hear me out on the jump pad. So I have been running a lot with just the pyro grenade and the gas mine. Problem being, I really feel like the high ground just makes a world of difference in this game. If you can get on top of the roof and start spying on somebody and get a good look at them, I think that uh, goes a long way. Now, in the reserves, I think this is important. I think it's important to have the pyro grenade, the gas grenade, and the explosive mine. The explosive mine kind of goes hand in hand with the gas mine that you can alternate those in and out for each other and they'll do pretty much the same thing. The explosive mine is looking for more kills and the gas mine is looking for more objective. You can put it on the, um, the cash out and it will linger for a while. Also, um, the pyro grenade is really, really, really good. So if you find yourself not really needing the jump pad, then go ahead and use the pyro grenade. Like there's no shame in that. Like just go ahead and use the pyro grenade. So we're gonna get into some gameplay and I will show you guys a little bit what this class can do. So first, let's talk about the F car. I think this is the best gun in the game and that's probably me being a little bit biased because it is my favorite gun, but look at that thing, it absolutely melts. It does have a small clip of only 20, but I mean, it just melts. So this is one issue where you kind of can run into running out of bullets right here. But in all honesty, if I wasn't trash and and I would have just hit the guy the first time, I would have been fine. Um, one thing I really like about the F car is its range. It can shoot very far and effectively. I feel like the kick on it isn't near as bad as, like, say, something like the AK, but it just almost, like, locks on to an opponent. By the way, check out that right there. Fire gets rid of uh, gas, and now we're in just like that. Now we're set up, put the turret on the top, Typically, I like the turrets on uh, the ceilings. I feel like they get shot less, but at the same time, they do also um, kind of have some issues up top because they can't uh, see upwards, like into that little hole right there. Also, you can see I put a jump pad right here just because it makes it extremely annoying and hard to get into the elevator when there's a jump pad sitting on the actual like doorway. In quick cash when you're the medium class, you get set up like this with the turrets and it's really, really hard to overtake them. You can put down either gas mines or uh, explosive mines and it's just so hard to get there, like get to somebody. So that would be one of my biggest things for the medium class is to try to get to the objective early, set up and prepare for the opponent to come. If you're set up, it's really hard to, uh, to get beat, honestly. Now let's talk about the second most important thing about this class, and that, my friends, is the defibrillators. 
I know, I know. A lot of people can uh, hate on them, but the reality is, is they're insanely good. And we'll see right here as we're going two v um, three, I believe. Get one. And now we're playing bank it. My teammate just goes down. Other teammate about to go down. And I can't shoot. But get the kill eventually. I'll turn around. Where's the third one at? But it doesn't even matter because he can't get to me faster than I can defib. So now it's three on one. And we got the heals. And there's just nothing they can do. So you can completely change the game with the defibrillators just by being able to get up your teammates so fast. And now that's a team wipe right there. And we just became very, very rich. Here's another example of the defibrillators. Instead of him taking five seconds to uh, revive me, instead he gets me up instantly, even with half health, and I get a kill. It's the simple things like that, being able to switch the game and just make the game in your favor. If you can have the numbers in this game, you have a really, really big advantage as we come in and just wipe out a squad. When it comes to the F car, it's one of those guns that you kind of can turn and just win most of the gunfights. As you can tell, that was a pretty fair gunfight, pretty 50-50, and I won that pretty fair and square. And there's my pyro grenade, which you can see does do um, a little bit of damage, just kind of blocking that spot off for the other players. But there's another example of the defibrillator just being OP. Just get you up in an instant. This is where the F car really shines is medium to longer range combat and you kind of can just mow down some opponents now you see the clip does come into issue some here but the medium class can scurry away and there's the defibrillators the medium class can get away and still move fast enough to where i feel like you can reload really quick and here's an example of that um uh, pyro which you gotta be uh gotta be careful because it'll get you too but as you could just tell, it's a great move if you're under somebody and you want to throw, say, a fire grenade up to them and it'll go through the ceiling and will get the floor. So it will also get them uh, burning as well. And kind of similar thing with the gas mine as well. The gas will kind of bleed through uh, two stories, um, but I, it's just a toss up to, on which one's actually better. Because as you can see, I get drilled with the gas mine right there, and that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm done, so. Watch this. As I come into the building, I'm going to get blasted by an RPG. This is why being the medium class is night. You kind of can take one of those. However, you need a gun that's going to kill him quick because he soon after flips to his gun, and it's, it's just a gun battle at that point. But the F car is a gun that you kind of can just mow people down with. You got 20 bullets. It's going to be powerful. It's also going to be kind of hard to um, uh, to keep all your bullets in that sense. But I'm going to throw a pyro grenade up here. It kind of blocks off that corner, so he has to move. And so now after I got him move, it's really up to me just to get the kill. And unfortunately, it didn't go my way this time, but you can see the way that you would use that. So what you really need on this class is you need a throwable grenade, something like a gas, gas grenade or a... Um, like explosive mine or gas mine, one or the other, or a pyro grenade. Those are kind of your options, what you want. Um, and then you can have your defibrillators on and then either your jump pad or another mine. It's up to you, kind of just the way you play. For this moment right here, where I now just that whole corner right there, you can't go in or else you're gonna get burnt. And so I go on the top, of course there's one on the top, and then that fire right there is still going. See, like nobody can get there. Oh man, I gotta reload. Trash. But that guy is really low, and so I'm gonna try and get him. But this is also something you can do, is put that jump pad on the stairs, and the next thing you know, you can't get up because you gotta go around the jump pad. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to go around it. I wonder if I show it here. But man, look how much damage that gas does. So much damage. That's, that's why I go back and forth between the pyro and the gas grenade. Just because it's like, which one do you use? They're both so good. You can see here that I throw the pyro right on the cash out and it's just hitting everybody. I mean, you just can't get out of the way. And then I'm also going to place my turret right down there um, so it can get that whole space. And also, I'm not in danger to where you can shoot me as well. So when I get up there, look at that. 
He's too busy fighting my turret and I get the kill. Now we got the defibrillators and just like that, man, we go from disadvantage to now we have the advantage. I feel like when it comes to the medium class, really what you want to focus on is you want to focus on getting your turret down and active because you never know when it's going to help you. Even if you put it in a bad spot, you still kind of could run around it and next thing you know, someone's dead by your turret or your turret does 100 damage and then you only have to hit them with a couple shots. So it really can um, just depend, but I would say whenever you're at the objective, you always, always, always want to have your turret down. So, but as we're coming in here to this vault, like it's not as important for me to throw down my turret because it's not the cash out. It doesn't really matter, you know? I also feel like when you're using this class, even when you have low health, you kind of can pop out and get some shots on someone, make them low, and then, and then kind of go from there. So, as you can see, there's two guys out there. I'm the last one left for my team. I'm going to just get some shots on here. All right, he's gone, so I got to do something else. Now see a situation like that when there's two people like that and you're already weak health there's not, not much you can do you just want to get as many shots on as you can and uh, try to stay alive for your team to come back. So I'm going to want to keep the high ground um, until it doesn't give me an advantage anymore so I wiped them all out. Going to want to defib my teammate and then right here bunch of mayhem. Going to reload let him run in there and then I'm going to clean up. Got one got to reload throw the pyro got the assist anyways. So now that the pyro's on that backside, it's really hard for anybody to be over there because you're gonna take a lot of damage. So I put the pyro on the backside and then I'm gonna steal it from the front side and then I'm gonna quickly pick up my teammate. Unfortunately, I don't have the uh, defibrillators anymore because they are cooling, but um, then I put the turret right on the roof. So as soon as anybody comes in, brrr, you start getting killed by the turret. Man, guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.